Okay, so when it comes to the front pattern piece, this is all in one. If you had two pieces, when you've got your facing on, you will find that you end up putting those together like we did for the back pattern piece. So you need to make sure that your shoulders join together on your lining pieces for when you're making your facings. Right, so I can use those pattern pieces there and I know that's the width then of my front neck facing which will extend. So you've got your centre front here, this has got a very narrow wrap on it, some of them might be more, some might be double breasted. It's just all to do with where you want your front facing to be. Because of the curve at the bottom of this pattern, that's where my front facing edge will finish. Okay. So that's going to be my front facing. I would make a separate pattern piece for that, but it's quite helpful if you mark it on your pattern to help you make your lining pattern piece, okay? So this will be the facing, if we trace that off as a separate piece, and then that would have an interfacing on it and in, um, uh, as well. And then the whole of the front is interfaced for a jacket. So you want to trace off the remaining piece. Now we're going to just do it at the bottom at the hem because I want to pivot the dart the bust dart into the facing. So I've got a cutaway dart here because it's quite a com combined dart so it's quite big. Again you just mark it at the sewing line so I know that that's going to be a bit longer. Now if you had a tracing wheel you could mark it through or you would just lay your pattern piece on the top. Now I know that's a straight line to those points there. And this is where I'm going to pivot my dart. So I'm going to close my bust dart out and open it here into this section. Okay, so I'm going to mark that underneath and that's my facing line. And I'm just going to pivot that dart shut. It's only a little bit. If it's not very much, because you want a bit of a dart there and you see it's not enough what I'm then going to do is actually hold it on this line here and open it a bit more so I've got more of a bust dart there but don't worry too much about that that's just again for movement because you don't want your lining to be tight so that section I just trace through normally you'd use a pattern wheel I haven't got the right work surface and I don't want to ruin my work top and again that's where that dart there is going to end it helps you see the line so when I take that off this becomes a pleat now that's obviously where the facing is this line I've marked so we have to put it back to no seam allowance so I'm using one centimetre seam allowance. I'm going to know that that was a straight line. So add the one centimetre seam allowance on there. Okay, so that's net um, sewing line. So we're going to add our seam allowance on there. So you can do one, one and a half, whatever your design is. And then at the bottom line here, just like we did with the back, we're going to come half a centimetre below to allow for the line in pleat to fold up and so on. And then just that little bit more to add, because I'm only using one centimetre seam allowance. If you've got one and a half centimetre seam allowance, you just cut it as it is and sew it with one centimetre. And that's how you make your front lining pattern. Now, if you had two pieces, you would do just like we did the back and combine them because otherwise that front panel would be too skinny. So you would just put the sewing lines together and work it out from there. And remember to put your straight grain line on. And then your pleat 
is marked with a notch. And that's the front lining.